Well, good morning. Welcome to another break here from Bounty Hunter Breaks. This is Boba Fetmi. And today I've got some retail extended series hockey. Now, the blasters weren't expected to come out until this week, but I actually got them last week ordered anyway from Target. And strangely enough, there was no real notification regarding it. It just kind of was doing some digging around and found it on the site on Friday night, I think it was. So I, I saw that you could order a maximum of three, so I ordered three, and then I went back Saturday morning, and it was still available, so I ordered another three. Those other three should be here today, but anyway, so I'm going to only do two fat packs and two blasters on this video, so we'll just kind of take the third one off screen here, and we'll focus on these, so we'll see what we get. See how many young guns and stuff. So I'm kind of curious on the fat packs because I found these this morning at my Fred Meyer. So I said, well, they have a limit at the one Fred Meyer that I go to. So I said, well, I'll just get for the two items, I'll get the two fat packs. They had a bunch of the blasters, but we'll see what you can get out of the fat packs. I want to say these were about seven or eight ninety nine. A pack so again like I say we're just gonna focus on the inserts if anything it's probably few and far between in the fat packs this looks like just all base cards not a single insert that's kind of disappointing so unless you're base set building it seems like the fat packs are not the place to go See what this one holds. A little bit of a damage there. Oh, we got an insert. We got a holographics. And that's probably it. And there's Chara on the capitals. So yeah, I can't say that I would rush out and grab more fat packs for certain. But let's see how the blasters fare. So in the blasters, you do get eight cards a pack, seven packs a box. And it says a bonus pack, but I would dare say that one of the bonus cards is included in that count of seven packs. So you really get seven packs. Just don't throw throw that bonus garbage up there and confuse people or mislead them so let's rip rip and go let's see what these contain how the values there and again the blasters there standard 1999 each We got an insert here. We got an ultimate victory of Mika Rantanen. We'll set that off to the side. Cheers. <clears throat> My goodness. Fine, we'll just. Another one, a rookie class. So already I'm going to say that the blasters are the way to go. So we got a Jake Ottinger rookie class insert. Because two packs, two inserts. And if every pack contains an insert, then to me it's far better value. Oh, we got a young gun. Considering typically in Retail, the, the blasters don't really offer much other than the, so you got a Cameron Hillis Young Gun. But yeah, other than getting like a, a couple of Young Guns in a blaster, you don't generally get very many other inserts, unlike in Hobby. 
Oh, we got a Dazzler. Green Dazzler. Oh, and then we got we got two hits in this pack. Or inserts. So we got a gold holographics of Pew Sutter. And a POJ. Young Gun, or a Dazzler. Green Dazzler. Pierre Olivier Joseph. Yep, still enjoying a wonderful heat wave here in the Pacific Northwest. It's been over a hundred the last couple days, and not much relief in sight today, I don't believe. It's already 70 something degrees, and it's just past 8 o'clock. So, we got another rookie class. Wow, I think I'm sensing a theme here. So one of these last two should contain another young gun. It better. It looks like there. Oh, we got the checklist. We got the young gun checklist. Lexi Hapanyemi and Arthur Kellyev. I'd like to think that that was a bonus young gun, but chances are, nope, that's our second young gun. But we'll see. As I say, if this one also contains an insert, and it does, the yeah, I highly recommend the the blasters then. Bowen Byram holographics. The only thing, I mean, it shows you the holographics, the, the rookie reflection, ovation, ultimate victory. The only thing you can't get in these looks like is the UD3s. That appears to be a hobby exclusive. And there's another one that's in hobby that I'm trying to remember what it's called now, but that must also be a hobby exclusive. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Straighten this out a little bit. Sorry about that. Box two. Got a young gun right off the start. Glenn Godden. Not familiar with him. For the Flames. Oh, we got a Young Gun Retro or Tribute of Dylan Cousins. Too bad that wasn't Kaprizov. See how you can get the tributes in here. So that's a nice little added chase. I don't know why I keep bumping my freaking. Uh-oh, a base pack? What? That can't be. I didn't have a base pack in the first box. Craziness. Foul. I cry foul. Oh, we got an ultimate victory. Of... Oh, and it's numbered. That's weird. Anze Kopitar, 6 of 350. I don't think the other one was numbered, was it? 
It's not. So, oh, it's a red border. Well, that's unique. I don't know if that's, is that retail exclusive? I guess I'm going to have to check into that. Yeah. A red bordered ultimate victory. Three packs left. Another ultimate victory of Joe Pavelski for the Dallas Stars. Two packs left. I'll take a Kaliev. Not greedy. Oh, we got an ovation. Which are kind of stamped to look like stone or something. But a Patrick Line, the Blue Jackets, Ovation, insert. Last pack. Come on. Get a nice retro young gun. Just another base pack, or what do we got here? Looking bad, looking like just another base pack. So that one was kind of a lackluster box. Not as awesome as the first. So I'd say the That are Anze Kopitar, 6 of 350, Ultimate Victory Red Border. Because if you compare that with the regular Ultimate Victory, it's got like a silver border, and that's a very narrow red border. But 6 of 350. And then got two other Ultimate Victory is Joe Pavelski, Miko Rantanen. Got the ovation, Patrick Line. Got the Dylan Cousins, Young Gun Tribute from 0506. And then I'll kind of go through here. So for Young Gun in box two, this, this was it. Glenn Godden, I guess, unless you count the Cousins retro, a Bowen Byram. Then in box one, had the checklist young gun, the gold Pew Sutter, rookie class Sutter, the POJ Green Dazzler, Cameron Hillis young gun, Jake Ottinger young gun, or uh, rookie class, and a Connor McMichael holographics. So, yeah, that concludes this break of extended series hockey. Hope everybody has a great rest of your Saturday, and as always, keep collecting.